Welcome to Office 2010 video number 48. Hey, in this video we want to see how to import Excel data into Access and then create calculated fields in a table and a query and compare and contrast how formulas are created in Access and Excel. Now this is uh, the if you click on the link below the video you can download these or go to our class website. I downloaded all three of those. Not only that but when I got to our class notes I right clicked new and created a new folder. This mail merge folder we did not have before today. I downloaded all three of these items. This is the has some Excel um, grade data in it and I want to open this workbook and look at it before we import it into Access. So I'm going to double click this and I in specific want to look at how these formulas are created. And the first thing to notice is if this is a grade book, here's name two, 1, 2, 3, there's uh, three scores and we have individual raw pieces of data entered in here. Over here we then have a sum function that adds. Notice sum goes from uh, C4 colon E4 and then we uh, have a formula that calculates our percentage grade. Now when we were over in Excel we did this exact uh, setup uh, in one of our first videos. Another thing to notice about this Excel table is we can put the max possible score. So the max you can get on each one of these tests is 100, have the total, uh, and when we get over to Access, we are actually going to store this one piece of raw data in a separate table. And when we create our formula, notice in Excel, we did our relative cell reference. We said, hey, take the score directly to my left and divide it by, oh, locked the total F2. When we get over to Access, we will uh, say something similar. We'll say, take the, for this particular record, take the total for the person. But when we divide it, we'll actually get this number from a separate table. All right, so I'm going to close this. Not only that, one other thing, when we import this, we're not going to import everything. These are calculated fields here over in Excel. So in Excel, we can mix up our raw data and our calculated fields um, and have this one record for max scores all together. Over in Access, it'll be somewhat separated into two different tables and a, a query that'll create a calculated uh, a grade column. All right, let's close this. I'm going to say no, I don't want to say that. I'm going to open up Access. I know. Now notice we have a blank database. I'm going to click on this Enable Content. Right, so the purpose of this uh, video is to see how to import something from Excel, use that uh, import wizard, and also how to create a formula in Access that's going to be a little bit different than how we do it over in Excel. Now I'm going to go to External Data because I want to import. So I'm going to click on the Excel. I'm going to navigate to our class notes. Class notes and then I'm going to go to this Mail Merge and there it is, Mail Merge Gradebook. We, uh, the next video we're going to do is Mail Merge and actually we'll use both the Access table we're creating right now and the Excel one and see how to do Mail Merge. All right, there's our file path. Import the source data into a new table in the current database. Yes. Link. This is a absolutely an awesome feature. We're not going to use it here. Link just means it'll, it'll update when you change it over in that Excel workbook. I'm going to click OK. Here's our first step in the import spreadsheet wizard. Worksheets or named ranges. We have a worksheet. Here's our preview. I'm going to click Next. First row contains column headings. Yes, indeed. I'm going to click Next. Now, we can decide things about each field or column here. There's the field name. Data type, that's fine. Notice when I come here, double, that's just for uh, a, a number field. So score one, yes, we want it. Score two, score three. Total, we don't want it. These are calculated fields, and we're going to actually calculate them. We don't want to restore this as raw data. So I'm going to come over here to do not import. And then I'm going to click there and do not import each one of those. Now I'm going to click Next. These are still showing up, but they won't in just a moment. Now, 
we know that over in Access, we have to have a primary key. Well, we don't have one here. We, we don't have the student ID here. So no problem. Look what Access did. It created its own primary key. Let Access add a primary key. I think the data type would be, uh, if you were doing this by hand, is uh, auto number. So it automatically increment. Now I'm going to click Next. And then right here, I'm going to uh, select keep that as the name. Uh, grades email. No, let's call it uh, or, uh, names and scores. Click finish. We could save these steps. We're not ever going to go back and do this again. We're going to keep that data here. So I'm going to click close. And there's our table. We can double click and open it. There's our primary key, our auto number, and we can see that those last two columns didn't actually uh, get imported. Now, one thing is we don't want this record here. I'm simply in this table going to click on the row header and right click delete. Now let's just notice that it's score one, two, three. We, oh, we need, actually need to store that data in a different table. So I'm going to delete it says, do you want to delete this? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to close this. I'm going to come over to Create, and I'm going to click Table. I'm going to immediately going to click Design View. I'm going to save the table as Max Scores. Enter. Uh, this will be our primary. I'm going to leave it as Auto Number. And uh, we're going to have three. We have three tests in our other table. It's called score one, score two. Here we're going to call it test one. Going to be number n tab max score for test one. I'm going to call this test two. N. I hit tab and then N and then Control V. And then tab, I'm going to call this uh, test 3, N, and then control V. So we could have actually, well, anyway, so we, we all we want is to store one item for each uh, test, and it's going to be the max score. I'm going to click uh, control S. Now we also want to calculate a calculated field here in the table because we're only interested in the actual scores and we need to totals and this field is going to have to add up these three so I'm going to type total possible that's the name of this field and right here I'm going to go down to calculated and this is called the expression builder now in earlier videos we built formulas we typed them out we could have used the expression builder there right click uh, builder but here we're just going to we already have our field name so I'm going to click on this it's actually already selected and there are our, our fields I'm going to double click this plus symbol double click this plus symbol double click this now notice this is different than over in Excel. In Excel, we would choose to do a range, right? Our sum function would say from this cell to this cell. But over here in Access, we're actually going to add the, the uh, individual fields. I'm going to click OK. And that is going to be our calculated field. We could change some properties. I don't think we need to change any properties here. If you wanted, uh, no, let's, let's come here. We definitely want to type a description here this is the now this is important because when you're calculating a percentage grade you need to know the max possible for the class and then when you get say it's 300 is the max and you get 272 then 272 divided by the max is your percentage grade all right I'm going to control s there's the expression down there I'm going to close, or actually, let's view it. I'm going to come up here. And uh, we can just enter the raw data right in the table since we're only going to ever have one record. So it's 100, tab, 100, tab, 100. And there it is. Now, this 
uh, total possible calculated field in the table max score, we're actually going to use that in a query to in the denominator. Over here are the names and the scores, and then we're going to total up the each student's score. But when we do our calculated field for a grade, every single one of the student's totals will be compared to the single item from this table max scores. That's much different than Excel. Remember, here we're going to tell the query, look at this field in the table over in Excel. The denominator, we used a locked cell reference. Now I'm going to close this, and now I'm going to go to create a query. Create, query and design. I'm going to show both tables. Close this, drag this up. I'm going to immediately control S, and I'm going to say, uh, Final grades, click OK. All right, so I want to show all the fields from the name and scores table. So I click on the first one, hold Shift, click on the last one, click and drag. I would like to have a total here. This is a calculated field. Right click Zoom. And just as we did in a, a couple videos ago, the name of our field would be total colon. Remember the colon says everything before is a label, everything after is a formula. And square brackets and the field names for the individual scores are going to be score 1, 2, 3. So we're going to type in square brackets score, score space 1, square bracket plus score space 2, square bracket plus All right, and so that'll be our formula over here. Click OK. And uh, let's just go look at our answer. Remember, as you're building your queries, you go back and forth. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. I'm going to go back over here. All right, now I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go right click build. Now, this is a calculated field, and we need a label, so I'm going to type Grade, percentage grade and then our colon. Everything before the colon is the label, everything after is the formula. Now we just created a field called total. So I'm going to in square brackets, total, in square brackets, that's easy enough, divided by. But now I want to come down here and get a field from a different table. This is from this table here, so as it as we show records, it'll give the total for each individual student, but we need to compare that to the total, so we're going to go over to our grade book, tables, and then max scores. And there it is, I want to double click that. And notice the table name there, max scores, and then our total possible. Now I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to come out here and view. Oh, we need to change the format on this, but it's looking good so far. I'm going to go back uh, underneath. It's so nice to have this button as you create your queries or tables. You can just toggle back and forth. I want to add, uh, look at the properties. So I'm going to come up here with the cursor there. I'm going to click on Property Sheets. Under Format, I'm going to click the drop down. And I'm going to say Percent. And then I can close this and go take a look. And sure enough, now we have our calculated field. This one's based on information in this query only. This one is based on one field in this query and then another field from our max score table. I'm going to control S and close. All right, so now we're going to say oh, this is already saved. This is our database. In our next couple of videos, we'll see how to do mail merge, and one of the mail merges will use the information from this access database. All right, see you next video.